Welcome to Star Techies. In this video, we will install WordPress on Microsoft Azure Cloud. Let's get started. So first of all, we will open the Azure portal. We can simply visit the website, which is portal.azure.com. Already logged in. So as we are on the dashboard of Azure, so we will go ahead and create a resource here. As you can see that on the dashboard, we have Azure services underneath that. We, you can see that create resource icon here. You can simply click here or you can also go to the create resources from the top left hand corner. You can click on the menu icon and then create a resource as we are on the create resource page here we will search for our wordpress app you will see the bunch of predefined the uh, wordpress in the portal do we have to select wordpress on app services which is directly from the microsoft just click on it here it is saying it is asking for the confirmation you can simply check the description here we have to just click on the create in the next screen we will have a screen where we have to put this our basic information as we have a subscription which is a free trial so i am just selecting it resource resource group in the resource group if you have already any existing resource group you can select that otherwise we have to create new one in our case i'm just creating the new so as i'm creating resources for our website which is a cctv guy so i will just name it as a cctv guy so here we will need to put the hosting details here it will be asking for the your reason what reason you want to be you know allocate to the server so in this case it is already selected west us but i will select uk west once you have selected the reason you can simply name your app so i'm just going to put here the cctv guy so after typing the hosting details here you have to select the hosting plan in my case i'm using the basic plan which is predefined if you want to change it as per your production site you can simply select from these options which we have free trial it will give you the all the free resources but are the limited i'm not choosing the free one because as we cannot go ahead and set up the custom domain here so i'm just going with the basic one if you are going for the production website you can simply select as per your need you can go with the standard or premium so here i'm continuing with the basic so in the next step we will set up the wordpress so here you have to keep a note on this whatever the information you are typing here you can just simply remember it or type it somewhere so that it will be required in the future when you will be uh, logging into your wordpress admin panel here i'm choosing the username and the admin password so as we already have the admin email address which is my default email address if you want to change it you can simply change it username i'm just using a custom username so here for example here this is the my username i will never recommend anyone to choose username such as admin or administrator these are the common and anybody can try to log in or try to explore with these common username from here either you can simply review and create if you wanted to go with the extra add-ons you can simply click on next you can select whatever the add-ons you you required if you want to use the azure cdn services you can simply select it from here is there any other you know network settings or custom settings you want to change you can simply do it from the add-on services and the deployment part but in my case i'm not using all these things so i'm just going to simply review and create it will review for all the changes and all the settings which we have selected i just want you to review all these settings if there is anything which you want to change you can simply go ahead and change it from here so here everything is good so i'm just going to click on create on the top right hand corner if notification icon you it will be showing you the status you can say that deployment is in progress so it will take some time at least five to six minutes i'm just pausing the video here i will be get back to you once it is done here as you can see that your deployment is complete so in the next step we will go to the resources notification so here we are on our resource page you can see that our cctv app web app here you will have all the information related to this project you can see that the name of the resource group is this it is currently running our location is this we have the current subscription all all the details are here and we can access our you know the wordpress website from here this is the default domain which is generated by azure so if we will go ahead and click on it it will open the new tab and here it is saying please wait wordpress is installing so it will take around three to four minutes so let's wait for it so now our wordpress is installed successfully so you can see that on the same url it is loading our default wordpress theme website so if we will go back to our azure portal and click on the default link again 
so it will redirect to the same so now let me go ahead and try to log in to our wp admin panel let me type wp admin and i hope you remember the username so here we are successfully logged in and here we are on the dashboard of our wordpress so you can see that we have successfully installed and configured our wordpress on azure in our next video we will set up custom domain for this wordpress installation so that we can access this wordpress website through our own domain i hope this video was informative Thank you for watching. For more upcoming videos, please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for future notifications.